This extraordinary 1929 arts and crafts home is amazing in both its original features and its recent restoration. Our job was to use our styling tips and tricks to really bring it to life. I can't wait to show you around. Come check it out. One of the really key features of this home is its amazing ceilings. You need to employ some things to draw the eye up. We've purposefully placed something tall on an already tall piece of furniture and your eye goes straight up to the ceiling. In another room, we've used color to draw the eye. So think about what you can do in your home to draw the eye up to something really interesting. One thing this house has a lot of, and you might have in your own home as well, is a lot of wood. It has wood panelling and it has wood floors. And that's fantastic for giving it really lovely warmth. But what it can do is feel a little bit dark and a little bit hard. So we've used linens that have a variety of textures. We've got sheepskin that's long and fluffy. We've got velvet that drapes beautifully. And those things balance out the hard surfaces. And the other thing we've done is we've used furniture that has soft edges. So you might notice there's a chair with a slight curve to it, or we've used a round cushion or a round mirror. And those round edges just balance out a lot of the hardness. So one thing I love about this house is it's very ordered and specific architecture. It's got panelled glass, it's got panelled ceilings, it's got panelled walls. But that can also start to feel all a little bit vertical and abrupt. So what we've done is we've balanced that out with natural fibres and things that are specifically not ordered. So in the dining room, for example, you'll notice that the flowers that we've used are wayward and a little bit rustic, and they balance out the incredibly ordered nature of the wood panelling. For more information and ideas on this house and also the styling things we've showed you here, check out our website, placesandgraces.com. But one last thing before you go, how beautiful is this? I love the brick and the wallpaper and the light switch and just the whole thing for me, it's heaven.